Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on getting started with your 2020 VSI de-icing sprayer. Now, as you know, the system is wireless, so one of the first things you should do when you get your sprayer is to plug it in. We've included these great battery maintainers with an integrated plug. Um, however, they're not rapid chargers, so you don't want to wait until a couple hours before your first snow event to plug this thing in. Plug it in the night before, a couple nights before, otherwise this is an automatic maintainer, so you can just leave it plugged in all the time or anytime you're not using it. So once your battery is fully charged, uh, first thing you're going to do is download the app from either the App Store on iOS or the Google Play Store on Android. Once you have the app, you're going to turn your system on with the switch there. Go to our app, and that's how we're going to connect to our sprayer. Uh, one common mistake is people try to connect to their sprayer from the Bluetooth connection menu, like you do with headphones or other accessories. That's not the case with the VSI sprayers. Go into the app, go to the Details tab, Click connect, it's going to search for available sprayers, which is any sprayer in range with the, with the uh, uh, switch turned on. We're going to connect to this one behind me here. Now we're connected. Now the first time you connect, very important to go to the profile menu, enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password. The reason for this is because the way we can update these spray units over the air is through Wi-Fi. And once you connect your Wi-Fi once, any time that you come in range of that Wi-Fi, the board's going to automatically check for updates as long as you haven't changed your SSID or password. So now our board's updated, uh, sprayer's connected, now we're ready to use the system. We'll go much more into depth on the app in a later video. Some other important things, uh, common mistakes with these units, is the valve configurations. We'll do a detailed valve configuration menu, but if you're spraying with your unit and you're noticing that it's working, you're not getting a lot of pressure or volume from your spray boom, um, almost certainly the problem is that you've left this bypass valve here. The bypass valve is the one right underneath the electronics box here. So if this valve is open, you're losing most of your pressure there. In addition to the app, you can wirelessly control some of the features on the sprayer with this remote. Now this remote only comes with your system if you purchase a total control upgrade. This will allow you to do your starter, your kill switch, uh, choke, throttle, lights, and hose reel, just like you can do with your phone. But in case you have a rigid mounted phone or tablet in your truck, this is the easier way to operate some of those functions, if, especially if you're getting out of the truck and using the hose reel. Uh, a couple other key things, obviously you want to chain the system down or bolt the system down. Um, all of our spray units include feet uh, with bolt holes so you can bolt them down. They also include chain grabs so you can hook up chains and binders or straps. Uh, typically we'll recommend running a cross pattern on your strain, uh, chains or straps, but it's up to you to make sure you're having safe operation of your spray unit. Make sure anytime you're done using your sprayer, you turn off the switch. Because even if you're not using the system, leaving that switch on still draws power. And if you come back a week later and the system's not plugged in, your battery's probably going to be dead. And with a dead battery, the system will not function correctly. So always make sure to do that. And as we talked about at the beginning, make sure to plug your unit in between use. You want this battery to be running as full and as healthy as possible to make sure your system doesn't have any issues. Now, if your system ever does stop working, um, there's two options. There's a 40 amp main fuse inside the battery box. That's a larger bus style fuse. Um, that would only blow if you were to cross some wires or if the hose reel were to severely overload the system or something of that nature. The more likely scenario is there are fuses, five by 20 millimeter bus fuses inside this box. And we'll go in depth on another video on what each fuse means and does. But just know that it might be a good idea to have some 10 amp and five amp, five by 20 millimeter bus fuses on hand. Hope you enjoyed the video and check out the rest of the videos for more great information on getting the most out of your 2020 VSI units.